Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. We should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander.
Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need, in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Arc Thrower immediately. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. Con it looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. We have eyes on the bandit. This is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. The site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. 
If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. craft is still intact. We've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening.
Adjusting aim. Oh, damn it. Enemy is still alive. Readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of the most pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. We can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. accomplished incredible it seems to have vanished Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander.
I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. I still can't believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the Council. Coming on screen. Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. <laughs> 